This is popping in the world of hip hop. Not all heroes wear capes. Some of them even walk on water. Kanye West and his family were in Atlanta this weekend for a Sunday service thing, and there was multiple pictures being taken that made it seem like they were walking on water. But that's not even the real story here. Uh, he's reportedly spent six million dollars on his presidential campaign. Uh, according to uh, TMZ, his campaign released his first financial report on Friday, and uh, it was like $4 million on ballot access service, and it was $1 million to a company called Atlas Strategy Group. Uh, and both companies have ties to Donald Trump. So once again, you cannot trust it, all right? I don't even know right. if I'm going to buy shoes for a while. I'm starting to support Ewing Athletics. I just bought two pairs. Onyx has a shoe. Shout out to them. Oh. Um, moving <laughs> <laughs> Head crack with the Ewans. Yo, man, like the, the good ankle Young support. Head crack with the Ewans. You, you on. might see me out here crossing somebody up, dunking on them. You know, I'm out Hey, here. head crack, get them BKs, them British Knights. Remember the them? BK. The BKs. That's yo, what you need, baby. Yo, you was good money until the little gold thing fell off. Like, that's what you knew it was time to switch them out. All right, let's talk about Kodak Black for a second. Uh, he Apparently, he's pulling a black Cindy from Orange is the New Black. Because he now, I guess, is Jewish, and uh, he's complaining oh. to the, uh, you know, to the people at the prison board that they will not let him uh, meet with his rabbi so he can practice his religion behind bars. I'm trying not to laugh. This is the first I heard of it. Um, so Cohen says that he's gearing up to file a lawsuit. Cohen's is Kodak Black's uh, attorney. Uh, he's gearing up to file a lawsuit if his client doesn't receive a consultation with his own rabbi or any rabbi. To that, I say shalom. Um, let's talk about the movies that dropped over the course of the weekend. Listen, um, it's good to even be able to say that movies are back in theaters. But are you watching them, though? Mm. Bill and Ted Face the Music made $657,000. I had to rent that one at the crib and watch it from home. If you like Bill and Ted, it's not bad. It's kind of on par with the original ones. And Kid Cudi does a pretty good job in it. Oh, there. does he? Is it, yeah, is it, okay. I'm getting in there. Yeah. Uh, Unhinged, the new movie from Russell Crowe, where he pretty much plays, I don't know, anyone who's ever been in traffic ever. Uh, that made $1.8 million. And then the new Mutants movie that's literally called The New Mutants, it made $2.9 million. Uh, I heard it was entertaining as watching napkins being made. And, and you know least. what? That's, that's <laughs> bad. That's very bad. Damn. Where are napkins made at? The, the napkinry. <laughs> <laughs> don't nap- Google that. Don't Google that. I didn't check the facts. Uh, <laughs> last but not least, man, big ups to John David Washington, though. His new movie, oh, yeah. Tenet, $20.2 million, man. Him and Christopher Nolan turned in a really dope movie. Robert Pattinson in there doing his thing. Mm-hmm. And here's the ill part. Like, I, if anybody ever seen a movie, have you ever noticed, like, in movies, like, no one's ever told it in the start of the movie? Right. Everybody in Tenet was taller than John David Washington. He has to be five foot two or something like that. Like yeah. you know, they don't even play uh, Tom Cruise like that because Tom Cruise is like four seven, and they always shoot him in a way that makes it look like he's like wild tall. But John know, they, David Washington is also pigeon toed and bow legged, and uh, to see him run in them action scenes, I was like, hey, look, it's look at his feet. What was still? He was getting he, off, he was man. He was doing he was doing it in the good shoes too, and also on the other digital side of things, man, because this didn't go to theaters, but Mulan. It came out on Disney Plus this weekend. If you got the premium joint, uh, they definitely killed it this weekend. So, you know, you got, you had options. That's it for me. Sun Stories will follow. Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud. H-E-A-D-K-R-A-C-K. We are the morning hustle.